This evening, I'm going to be speaking about a familiar topic to us, uh, something we've already spoken about today, and that is fear. And uh, we already heard uh, much on this subject during Brother Aaron's Bible class today, and we are a people who fear God, and He is worthy of all praise, and it's right that we serve Him and reverence Him with godly fear. Now, with that in mind... I'm going to approach this from a slightly different perspective. Uh, It's been said just this morning that not all fear is alike. Fearing God and being a a fearful person is not the same thing. We must have wisdom in order to discern these things, and it's faith that gives us the ability to fear God and to not fear the world at the same time. There are things that we are told to not be afraid of, such as our enemies and those who are wicked and evil. These, these things we are not to fear. There are evil reports that can come and provoke dread and fear in the hearts of men. And it's only through faith that we're able to cast these off and to trust in God. I want to consider for a moment the account of the spies who went in to spy out the land. Consider the evil report that they brought back and the effect that it had on the children of Israel. It caused their hearts to be filled with fear. It caused them to draw back, to murmur and complain. They did not believe the word of the Lord and he, that he had given them the land and that all they had to do was go up and possess it. This evil report caused the Israelites to, to not accomplish the will of God. As believers in Christ... We can be sure that we will also encounter opposition and trouble. We must respond in faith or we will also be overcome in the evil day. We are living in a day when it would be very easy to be distracted by the wicked and evil men that seem to flourish. While all the time they become more and more wicked. As the psalmist wrote, they they do seem to be spreading themselves like a green bay tree. But we know that their end is destruction, and they will pass away too. Though they seem to be prospering in spite of their wickedness, in reality they are teetering on the edge of a great precipice, and they will soon be destroyed. Now we are in this world as a result. We are in this world, and as a result, it won't be long before we hear an evil report. You, you can't pick up the newspaper or turn on the radio or TV without hearing something that's unsettling to the flesh. But do God's people respond in fear when they hear of the wickedness of this world? God forbid that the children of God should respond in such unbelief. It's surely a time to be strong in our faith. And it's for this reason that we are not afraid, because of the faith that we have. We know that however things may appear that God is in control of all, and we trust him to deliver us from all our enemies. Isaiah 12, 2 says, Behold, God is my salvation. In him I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. And Psalms 23, 4 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So whether it be persecution, adversity, threatenings, tribulation, or trials, we know that we need not be afraid because Christ Jesus is with us and he has promised never to leave us or forsake us. Now the scriptures tell us plainly, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. It is therefore no strange thing that we encounter opposition. We have an enemy, brethren, who will stop at nothing and will try anything, if only he can persuade us to forsake the cross of Christ. Our, en- our Lord has well equipped us to do battle against this enemy, brethren. We've been outfitted with the armor of God, which, as we have proven through extensive experience, it is able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Now, Jesus gives us his peace in order to strengthen our hearts so that we will not be moved away in the evil day. We will not be moved away from the hope of the gospel, brethren. John fourteen twenty seven says, 
peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So in conclusion, brethren, I want to encourage you all to be strong in the Lord. Have faith in God and avail yourselves of the provision granted to those who are followers of Christ Jesus. We will be called to suffer for Christ's sake. And it is my desire that we would all respond in a manner befitting the child of God. Psalms 112.7 says, He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Speaking of the children of God. Brethren, I encourage you all to not be afraid what man can do unto you. Fix your heart on God and trust in the Lord. It was true in the days of Elisha and it is still true today. They that be with us are more than they that be with them. It is my prayer and desire for all of us that in the day of trouble, when all the hosts of our enemies have encamped themselves round about us, that our eyes would be opened as the young man was that Elisha prayed for, that we would be able to see all the horses and chariots of fire round about us, and that we would know that God is with us and that we cannot fail, brethren.